Hey everybody, in this video, I will be um, showing you how to summarize continuous variables. And this video is a supplement to uh, my textbook, uh, B Basic Statistics for the Behavioral and Social Sciences Using R. So the textbook, this is from chapter two where we talk about descriptive statistics. And um, I thought I would demonstrate how to do this with R. So um, to do this, I'm going to use the hospital data set that we refer to in this chapter. Um, so there's several ways to get it, but I'm gonna show you how to do it here. Um, and I have this data set actually just stored on my desktop. And um, in the book, we talk about attaching and not attaching um, uh, data sets. Because I'm going to give you a brief demonstration, we're just going to attach the hospital data set, and that will reduce the amount of typing that I have to do. So we can look at the variables in the data set um, by clicking this little spreadsheet icon here, and, and we'll have a drop down. And um, you can scroll through these variables. But I'm just going to demonstrate this with the age variable. Um, so one way you can get descriptive statistics on um, a variable would be just to type summary and the name of the variable, and it gives you some statistics um, that will describe it. Here you get the minimum, the first quantile, the second quantile, which is the median or middle value, the, the average and the third quantile and the maximum score. So you could just do that for age, um, but this doesn't give you everything that you might want to do or might want to see. So I'm going to show you a few ways to do this and I'll conclude with the way that I sort of think is uh, the best way or easiest way to do it. Um, you certainly could just type in if you want a specific statistic, like right here we're missing um, measures of dispersion. So these are just summary variable, summaries of this variable, but we don't have the standard deviation or the interquartile range. So um, we're going to get an error, but I'm going to show you if we just do SD mean, which shows you the standard deviation uh, oops, of the age variable. Um, it gives you, uh, it's not going to give us an if problem because I guess we're not missing values here. And you could also type IQR, the interquartile range, uh, which is the middle 75th, middle 75% of the data and that will give it to you here. Um, so you could type each of these things individually. So for instance, mean and so on. Um, but there's an easier way to do that, and that is to use the psych package. There's a, a function in there called describe, and I've already installed the psych package, so I'm just gonna require it. And again, there's multiple ways to do this, but I'm just gonna um, scroll down, I see that it's installed, so I'm just going to require it um, by clicking it. And the function, once I require that, is describe. And if I put in age, it's going to give me a bunch of uh, summary statistics for the age variable all at once. So here are some things that it, you don't get. You have the N, so we know we have 50 observations for this variable and uh, the standard deviation. This is the 10% uh, trimmed mean. Um, the uh, median, uh, measured dispersion for median is here. I don't know how much that's used. Uh, the minimum maximum scores, you had that up here. Here's the range, which is simply the difference between that. And uh, we have our measures of skewness and kurtosis um, knowing that a nor perfectly normally distributed um, variable would have a skew of zero and a kurtosis of zero, and there's your standard error. Now, we could actually um, provide the interquartile range by um, adding in an option, IQR equals T for true. Whoops, uh, I made a mistake. And my mistake is 
that I have a period and not a comma here between that. We have commas for our options, and that does include now your interquartile range. So I think this is probably um, the easiest way to see all your um, summaries, your uh, descriptive statistics for continuous variables is by using this described function. Um, of course, you're not storing any of those variables, uh, any of those values separately. But uh, if you want to get a quick look, I think that's the way to do it. And I hope you enjoyed this video.